What's up, what's up, what's up, people? Welcome uh, to another uh, live stream. We got foodie booty. Get some Chinese food. All right, awesome. We're going to get into it. Uh, How is everybody doing? Hopefully good. She stay eating 24-7. Mm -hmm. Amy, Judy, Kelly, Wade, Sam R., Lindsay, Pat, Ray, Fresh Flowers. What's going on, everybody? Lynn Smith, Mary Beth, Edna, hi there. Nola Boo, Jumbo, a fish, and uh, who else do we have in here? The camel. It's a Friday of all things. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Lindsay. Hey, Miss Ella, Garden Lady. Welcome, people. Uh, it's a Friday of all days. TGIF. You know, some people work on the weekends. Others, you know, it's her time to shine on a great weekend. So hopefully you'll enjoy it. Steffi B, what's up? All right, all she's doing is in monetizing her binge eating. The rules don't apply to her, and that goes for Koki, who's threatening other channels. Yeah, I heard that. Like, Natter is saying certain things about other channels as well. Kara Olson, what's up? How you doing? Let's get straight into this, everybody. And let's see what she has to say. <laughs>
Hi, okay. marhaba. Welcome back to another video. Wow. Make me an intro. Hello. Hello, guys. Hello. Wait oh. a second. Why is it 1994? Is it because that's her guy, Julia Harry, 1994. She's trying to say her man is born in 1994. I guess so. All right, so she wants you to make her an intro and she'll use it. Okay, uh, how about you make your own intro or you pay someone to make it? Cool. Put that email into my Rolodex? <laughs> sure. All right, then. Yeah, that's Salah's birth. Yeah, that's what I thought. Her man, 1994. And, of course, Julie and Harry are the two pets. Gotcha. <laughs> her password is password or secret or sex. It's one of those, right? <laughs> Hello, oh, one, hello two, three, guys, four. hello. Welcome to another video. All right, so today I was badly, badly craving Chinese food and I wasn't able to say no to myself. And yeah, I know that's my problem. So I'm gonna have Chinese food. All I don't right. think I like the whole thing because this feels so heavy. Oh my gosh. Who said it yesterday that this is like her opening presents daily? So this is her present. It is. It really is like a present, uh, but it's food instead of, you know, something that's not food. Let's open the food present. Chinese food. Spring rolls, shrimp, bunch of sauces. Beffy B, you'd be surprised. Garlic chili noodles. What people do. Wonton soup. And General So. Hey, General So, what's up? Hello, foodie beauty. Please enjoy my chicken. Yum, yum. What's this here? Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, Becca Boo. My drink just spilled everywhere. Okay, so I forgot that I ordered iced tea, and I totally manhandled the bag that was the iced tea was in. This is not put, a like binge. lemon and everything in it. Yeah, I remember Jay Harry. Here. I totally remember. Yum, yum, yum. Ice. Mmm. Refreshing. All right. Let me just open everything. Oh, all right. Um, I'm not really sure, Jumble. I would think so. Uh, I have YouTube Premium, so I don't get the ads, of course, but. I would say if she's doing stuff around half an hour long that she has, you know, uh, appropriate number of ads. So what do you think about that chicken? Bismillah, this food looks, looks pretty good. So amazing for Chinese food. Um, I was craving it so bad. Let's try a spring roll. There's shrimp spring rolls. Sweet and sour sauce. Julia, no. Mm -mm. No. All right. Here comes Julia. You can't have. I just gave you meat mixture. What was that? She's drawing again. She must see what everything is. So, I thought I would, like, I know a lot of people didn't like this shirt. So you wear it One again? One of the new shirts I got when I first did the video with it. Honestly, I was half dead. I... No. <laughs> so, right. I mean. All right. So. Yeah. This is. How much food is this? This is maybe food for two to three people. Maybe two to four. Like, I, I eat a pretty good amount of food. And I would say, yeah, it's at least two people. If, you know, maybe you could do it four. Yeah, you could easily do four people with this amount of food. Yeah, look at all those egg rolls. That, uh, the spicy noodles. I'm going to use these chopsticks from the sushi and see if I can do it. A lot of noodles, indeed. No, it's like weird. Like, chopsticks make the food look and taste tastier for some reason. 
So General So, who is General So? I mean, he invented this chicken. Plus I have to practice my chopsticks. Anyway. You know what? If she wanted conversation, she could actually just look up General So. And he was a former viceroy of uh, Minze. If you don't know what a voice viceroy is, look it up. Hot. I'm gonna put some soy sauce. Oh no, no. Was so a I military so leader myself. of the late King Dynasty. I don't know what this water stuff is. Looks spicy though. Should I try it? Is she trying to blend in with the couch? Who knows what she's trying to do? Oh, they're little jalapenos. Burns, my biscuit says he was a ruthless killer. That I do not know of. It's not like I, <laughs> I knew I was going to talk about General So today. <laughs> but um, I don't know. Maybe I have no idea. I think. Oh, these are so hot. The Colonel is KFC, my mm. friend. Wait a second. Didn't, oh, yeah. the, didn't the Colonel uh, used to live in Toronto? Right? Like a uh, KFC founder, I'm pretty sure. Uh, hey, Tracy, what's up? How you doing? Food is hitting what the spot. I'm going to put some, like, general so here. There's broccoli. Okay. I can dig that. <gasps> Yum. Okay, let's let, let, let's let that cool off and just... The spring rolls. Do you have soup. a rooster, really? <sighs> so, yeah, I just thought I would show you, like, with a hijab and my makeup done, looking more alive, what the shirt looks like. It covers all the bits I need it to cover, and it looks good with pants, and it's going to be a lot cooler in the summer because it's not an abaya, and I don't have to wear anything underneath it. Sure. So that's good. That's good. All we need now is the grimace shake to top it off, right? Mm. Mm. That that uh, eyeshadow there is really overpowering. The wonton soup. It looks like a couch. <laughs> Do you guys bubble. like wonton soup? Looks super hot though. Mm. So, I'm so mad at myself, okay? Because Amethyst I, is like so pronounced sow, not so. So it's sow pronounced sow, not so. I, for so many years, have been so careless with spending money. And I'm just realizing it now. And it's really peeing me off to think that I was ever like this. Um... You see this mascara I'm wearing? Pretty decent, huh? Uh, no. Uh, Knuckle Sangwa says, uh, General Sao Chicken is the worst in reference to dietary stats. Really? I'm gonna have to look this up. Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara by Essence. Less than four bucks. No. On sale, so. Oh, the shake is officially off the menu as of yesterday. No! I don't know how much it would be. Hey, Miranda point is I usually spend like thirty two bucks or like at least sometimes fifteen but the benefit mascara that I love is like thirty two bucks great do you know the amount of mascaras i can get with that how about the number of paneer she could get with that how about the number of mcdonald's i don't Burgers. get it french fries 
Hey, Meloni, what's going on? I think us people just like to get caught up in like name brand stuff, you know? Like FB shopping habits at Pennington's hundreds but of dollars of a day. day. Like, <laughs> it just doesn't seem worth it to me. Like at all. To blow that kind of money on expensive high-end makeup when you can get something cheaper that works just as well you know and rally point mm. i love broccoli especially chinese food broccoli because it's that different Is she really broke? I don't know. She should still be making pretty good money. You think she spends a thousand a week? That's a lot of money, though. Mm. So, I want to explain something to you guys. Oh, great. What'd she do? And I have... Wait a second. What'd she do? Was it the cat? Like, what happened? I want to explain something to you guys. Oh, great. Oh. And I have... Explain this many times. Oh, food on her face. And regardless, there are still going to be people... Oh. There are still going to be people who have something to say about this matter and call this a binge when it's a hundred percent not a binge her sleeve was in the food okay gotcha mm -hmm. wontons taste homemade mm. Mm. hot and delicious charcoal castor oil cowling clay says sunshine Make your own. Okay. So there you go. Make your own. I thought I would go over again. Hey, Becky. What exactly a binge is for me? I don't binge on camera. I know people like to Google what a binge is and apply it to my personal situation. You can't do that. Binge eating is not one size fits all. And I'm not trying to make excuses here. I'm actually being really serious. You can call what I'm eating unhealthy. It is. You can call it overeating. It is. But don't call it a binge. But it's not a binge. Okay. It's a maternity. Do I have an addiction to fast food? Yeah. Hey, how's it? Yeah. yeah. Two things can be true at once. Binge eating and fast food addiction. Which actually makes the situation more messed up for me because to combat fast food addiction, any addiction, you're supposed to be abstinent from it, right? How are you how do you stay abstinent from food? Well, you say, okay, you need to stay abstinent from fast food. Okay. But then to conquer my binge eating disorder, I'm told not to super restrict and to eat things in moderation. Okay. And who ever heard of moderation in food addiction and, and addiction recovery? When you're recovering from alcohol addiction, can you have a beer in moderation? No. Um, what do you guys think about this? Not everyone who's overweight is an addict, and not everyone who's overweight has binge eating disorder. Hey, Mary. Very different things. Hey, Linda. And I'm not saying this like in a bad way. I realize a lot of people don't understand the concept or the illness. Hey, is she she is the wrong one to get food advice from. I think we're getting TikTok food advice here. Or maybe YouTube. Maybe she's watching some videos that people are putting out. 
and she is regurgitating that information to us. <clears throat> yeah, we've seen many fast food funerals, Lindsay. Celebrity Juicer says, I don't need alcohol to live. Exactly. Hi, baby girl. So, a binge for me would happen again when I'm alone. True alien. Because when you're alone, you don't feel the shame. You don't feel like people are not going to look at you. People are not going to tell you to stop eating. People are not going to know you have a problem. Binge eating. They're just going to assume you overeat and you're fat and lazy. There, boys, Wobby. But with binge eating, it's some kind of trigger, like some kind of click, some kind of like compulsion that I can't control most of the time. And it's an obsession. It's like an OCD with food. Like you're obsessed. Like you, all you think about is food, calculating what you're going to eat, thinking about meals, planning. Well, if you look at how she's been labeling her videos lately, uh, if you notice, if you've taken the time to notice exactly, it's always, it's now, what is it these days? Uh, it's been, oh, um... Craving, Chinese food craving. What was the last one before this? Let's check this out. It was Chinese food craving. Uh, then we had, uh, wasn't it like she was craving something else? What was it? Did she rename it? I could have, wasn't she craving sushi? Yeah, she was craving sushi. Now it's all about the cravings and what to do with them. Hey, Dynamite, what's up? Watching videos of food, looking at food, looking at through Taliban and Uber Eats for no reason. Um, and when I do order food, when I'm binging, I don't order just to satisfy a craving like I'm doing now to eat dinner because I haven't eaten. Mm -hmm. Then what does she do? I do it to, for some other purpose. I got soy sauce on my sleeve. So for example, when I would order pizza, you know, it would be like a whole large and I had to finish the large. It was like, a, it was like, again, a compulsion. I couldn't leave any of the food to satisfy this binge urge. So I'd shovel it in. I wouldn't, it, it, once the food gets there, Too it's many. like autopilot. Even planning the food starts becoming autopilot for me. Um, I would put something on and just mindlessly shovel the food in calories after not even thinking just getting that like binge urge fix. So like I would eat all that, a large pizza with like jalapeno poppers, um, wedges, whatever. And I'd be full like less than halfway through the pizza and I would still eat it because I just, I couldn't stop. All right. And so is this in reference to the pizzas she used to order and hide the boxes all over when she used to live with BB? Because, uh, yeah, that seems like it. She would order pizzas all the time. Eat it all off, hide the boxes whenever. Be eaten whenever he's not around or if he is around, sneaking them in. After that, I would have... Uh, a large bag of like, at the time, I think like, for example, Dorito sweet chili, a large bag, family bag, um, drumstick ice cream, two of those, two sticks of beef jerky, kind of like Slim Jims. Um, 
maybe a bag of sour candy. And then I would not, I wouldn't finish there. Um, I would go into the fridge really? and just eat anything like any cheese I had in the fridge, it would be gone very quickly. Um, just anything like that. Box of crap. All right. Rally Point says these videos are a diversion from what these still are. Feeder videos are now using a very serious disorder to cover her evil tracks. Evil. Okay. Yeah. What do you guys totally think about this? I don't think a lot of us are believing exactly what the hell's going on. Rally Point, you got a point here. Thank you so much for the super chat. Appreciate you. Very quickly. Um, just anything like that. Box of crackers would eat them all. Cookies. Exactly, Miranda. Remember her gas station binges? Yes. I remember that ultimate binge where she ordered nearly $300 worth of food in a day. That was so bad. When was that? 2021. 300 bucks. So, I mean, in a day. And then it's the psychological aspect as well. It's not just about the food, it's about what's in my brain. And that's why I know I need help. Yes, I agree with that. Um, I'm actually going to be using an online service, it's more affordable than here. Um, I can get a specialized treatment, somebody dealing with that. With, with eating disorders and I can do it remotely. So win-win. Um, Cowboy dog acts. So Marina completes a uh, total stranger didn't help. Remember the days when she was like, yeah, my hubby could keep me in line and, uh, you know, would be a benefit to my life. Well, typically, yeah, your partners is a benefit to your life. You don't marry somebody to make your life worse right you marry somebody to make your life better but how did that turn out she needs inpatient well that's going to be extremely expensive for her where she's living now if she does get inpatient she's going to use better help maybe she will so yeah you shouldn't set your chopsticks upright in rice slash noodles or anything for that matter it's actually bad table etiquette if you know what it really means to have because it, it looks like uh well it's something that's it's reminiscent of a funeral let's just put it that way you know those things that they burn are, are they incense what are those like if you stick them up like that uh it's like bad omen so you're not supposed to do this bad etiquette to have your chopsticks you know laying upright in your food stressful like it's you feel so guilty after you feel like you failed and you've done something horrible to yourself and you just have no the feeling that you the fact that you feel like you have no control and you couldn't say no makes you feel like crap and then you want to restrict the next day Already after the binge, I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to do a cleanse tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to eat only fruit, you know? So I know people like to make fun of my fad diets, but it's actually a big symptom of binge eating disorder. Um. I was in denial, sometimes still am, for so long about what I what, what my problem was. Julia. Not so talkative anymore. Silver Juicer says the last few weeks footy is using so, the meals as a stim. For me, this is not a binge. <laughs> it's eating unhealthy and too much. 
Yeah, does anybody have any hungry fat chick updates? Who's teaching her all of this? Uh, typically, if she's getting taught anything, isn't it the internet she gets her information from? How many times have you seen her get information? Like she'll watch a documentary or a show or um, some sort of anything, and then she'll regurgitate the information as best as possible. Isn't that what she does? So TikTok, maybe YouTube, a combination thereof. Which I'm used to eating, right? Because I, I do binge, so I'm used to eating a lot. And it takes a lot more to satiate me. Okay. Thanks, Neri. <sighs> okay, great. Mmm. So I'm not going to deny that, no, I shouldn't be eating this, but I am. I have chosen to eat this. So that's my choice. And like I said, I'm not only going to come on my channel when I'm having a good day. Or a successful day. I find that to be fake. YouTube University, right? But I haven't been deleting comments of people. Some hateful ones, yes, but not really ones giving me crap about what I'm eating because you're right. <laughs> I mean, you know. All right. Uh... We got Celebrity Juice says something about STEM, and somebody asked about that, right? Uh, in terms of STEM, eating can be a STEM. Uh, so says Kelly Estes, a PhD, um, who is an addiction recovery coach. So this person is saying that eating can provide stimulation for people with ADHD in many different ways. So yeah, maybe uh, maybe she is. Uh, eaten because she's using it as stimulation who knows maybe it's possible this person thinks so eating can be a stimulation hi i cannot tell you how much of a joy julia has been in our lives salah was always a like a bit frightened by cats and sometimes he's still like if she jumps like she likes to jump above his head on the bed uh, headboard and he's he just you know, it's a reaction to flinch. <laughs> but he overall, she loves him so much. She follows him around like a little lost dog. Oh, Julia! She's, oh, you're cute! <laughs> She's the cutest thing ever. The little kitten, I got a few comments, not many. Like, why didn't you keep him? Why didn't you bring him to the vet? Okay, we cannot uh, that afford to take cat. care of every stray cat that we come across. Um... We try to give food and water where we can, but I cannot just bring him to a vet. Like, who's going to pay the bills, you know? We have our own pets to worry about, and I didn't want to bring him here and give Julia something. Um, potentially, like feline leukemia, parasites. Um, Seriously? Things like that. I don't think rabies, but what is this, a berry? Now she's worried about that. She wasn't so worried about when Timbit was stuck in a room. I just didn't, I just couldn't do that, you know? So, um, I felt bad. But that's honestly all we could do. Thanks, Jay Harried. So that's why. <clears throat> that's why that happened. This is honestly some of the best Chinese food I've had. It's so good. Mm. Yelmi says the thing is she's acting all new life. Yeah, how is she any different from 
her being alone in the kitchen chair in the Villa Gorgian. Not any different at first. It might have seemed like it could be. But yeah, we're back to her being comfortable, and this is how she's comfortable. Uh, staying inside, staying cool, not going outside, not going anywhere, and gorging herself on food. She could have done this in Canada. They have good Indian food here too at this place because there's like an Indochina. And a lot of Chinese restaurants are like that here, Indochina. Hey, Marie. Now, like, for example, this is like the thing. P.F. Chang's, when we went out for dinner, it was like so expensive. I think maybe, maybe like $70, 75 bucks okay. for What's the two up? of us. All of this food, which is uh, like, honestly, no offense, P.F. Chang's, this food is more filling, bigger portion and more authentic Chinese tasting. You know, P.F. Chang's is an American chain, right? So this is, how much was all this food? 25 bucks for everything. Cool. You know. So true, Darina. If you're wondering where Salah is. <laughs> He's at Murad's house. It's a Friday night. Get a bit of work to do. I know he does in bed. It's a Friday night. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And right. It's a Friday night. And he's also, I got some of my clothes in. Some of the clothes. But one of the things doesn't fit properly, like in the bust area. The rest of the things fit well. I can't wait to do a video showing you guys. I'll try to have that out soon. Um, maybe later today. <laughs> Um, but he's exchanging for me <laughs> the, um, the clothes. He's very quick. He just goes in and so I'm going to get another shirt instead and a face wash. I forgot a face wash. I'm going to be dyeing my hair. My Ooh. hair is like up to here now. Like it's getting long. Really? I guess it has been that long. It's been... When did she, sh uh, well, I guess so. Yeah, wow, her hair is getting pretty long now. There is still some thinning, but it's not for- You mean you have bald spots like you had before? That's what you mean. For some reason as bad, I think it's because I've been using the rosemary oil that Salah got me. And um, yeah, I don't understand the comments like, oh, he's always gone, blah, blah, blah. Actually, he's not. Did you hear Nader was threatening to strike you again? Was he threatening to strike me or just everybody? Did he specifically name me? Like, if you... I don't understand how that's, like, a symbol of, like, love for someone, like, if they go to work. Like, most couples... Like, like I know people whose spouses, like, they're gone three weeks out of the month to work. How is that, like, any indication of, you know, Salah's gone maybe, like, a couple hours? You know, not every day. So are you saying that people aren't in love because they have to go to work? Like, I don't get it. Anyway. Um, WTF? She got a skullet. Oh, so weird. So weird. There is a list on. Okay, so Snarky Priest got a, a what, like a couple minutes video where he has a list of channels to be struck. <laughs> okay, sure. Weird. Anyway, I've been full. I'm full. So I'm going to put. I have a lot left over, actually. I'm going to put this in the fridge. <laughs> Such big portions. I love it. Um, that's not going in the fridge. That's going to be eaten ASAP, like ASAP, as soon as the camera goes off. I need the rest whenever. I don't know. Salah doesn't like this kind of food, so it's all mine. <laughs> all right, guys. And don't worry, he doesn't starve. I made him chicken and rice, his favorite, meat and rice and whatever else. So he enjoyed my paneer as well. I'm <laughs> surprised. 
All right, guys. So stay tuned. I'm going to do oh. a clothing haul for you guys. I only got a few shirts, but at least I can show you what I got in this different style because, yeah, wearing me a bias all the time is really hot in this weather, and I think I'll feel a lot more free and just wearing this, you know? So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Wait a second. What did she say about a bias? It's hot? At least I can show you what I got in this different style because yeah wearing me a bias all the time is really hot in this weather and i think i'll feel a lot more free and just wearing this you know so okay anyways thanks for watching guys see you later bye kind of obvious it would be hot if you have like heavy clothing on in super super hot weather of course all right well that's it uh what does she wear on the bottom Freedom Deep, if only I knew. Or do I even want to know? Monty, would you consider doing your next live wearing an... No, uh, no thank you. <laughs> Me in an abaya? Don't you mean a, a dish? Uh... Me in an abaya, really? Don't you mean a dish dasha? Like, for guys, it's a dish dasha. For, like, the ladies, an abaya. Uh, I'll think about it. We'll see. All right. We'll see what happens with her clothes. I guess she's going to do a clothing haul. Rinse and repeat. Food hauls. Grocery shopping. Eating food. Clothing hauls. All the things that she used to do back in Canada. Uh, that she's going to do here in where she's at in Kuwait. All right. Happy Friday, people. Have a great one. If I don't see you later. Um have a great friday it's the weekend hopefully you guys have plans if not uh make plans or maybe not it depends on how you are what your capabilities are i know it's hot out there it's a heat wave over here it's super hot but thank you so much smash that like button and i will be back if she's back i'll be back maybe it's time for another maybe it's time for another live stream sometime soon from foodie i guess so but yeah Take care of yourselves. I'll see you guys later tonight or tomorrow. Be safe.